What's up? How are you guys this weekend? Uh, we have to take a break from the Korean girls before uh, Kim Jong-un uh, starts coming after me. <laughs> so uh, today we have low-carb love, realistic meals for weight loss. And a lot of you guys are talking trash about my eye surgery, calling me bogged, saying I look like a 70-year-old Chinese man. Look, in two months, you guys can say that stuff. For now, I'm still recovering from the surgery. We don't know what it's going to look like. I mean, the surgeon is the best guy in the world. Like, I trust his expertise. I wouldn't have gotten it done. So, again, guys, you can call me bogged in two months. But until then, you guys should chill out, please. Keep keep the videos on topic. On topic. Guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Meyer from Low Carb Love. Now, for those of you that don't know me, I've lost over 100 pounds and I've been maintaining my weight for over 15 years. So today I want to do a realistic what I eat in a day. So there are days where I am super, super. I mean, you guys kind of know my new opinions on low carb diets. We've made several videos. Uh, in the past year or so about how keto is bad for you, you know, you have kidney issues, liver issues, how these diets are like temporary band-aids for weight loss and you're trading, you know, the weight loss for liver damage. You're losing weight, but you're damaging your internal organs. Clean, super high protein, but um, today I just want to show you some of my favorite meals. I love Chipotle. I love ramen. I love, I just love a lot of different foods. And I was thinking about maybe showing you how I make like a at home version of my Chipotle bowl. I just have my noodles. So she's like I admitting that she goes out and, and binges and eats carbs. And that was one of the things we talked about in the keto diet is that you need carbs to have a healthy gut microbiome. It's not possible to have a healthy gut without carbs. That's one of the main reasons keto is not good or low carb or anything is not good that just got here so i might make like a little ramen with a little egg and mm. so um that's what i'm thinking i'm right now i'm gonna do my smoothie so i just figured like i might as well bring you guys along and show you some of the delicious foods that i'm gonna be making today anyway right now um let's go nourish my body i'm gonna do a protein smoothie maybe add a little bit i don't know i don't know let's just go downstairs i love smoothies i love coffee and we're gonna do a little bit of both to start the day <laughs> Okay, so I have everything out for my smoothies. I have vanilla protein powder, chocolate peanut butter protein powder, unsweetened almond milk, and then we have crunchy peanut butter and cinnamon. Now for my smoothie. I mean, this is like low quality, crappy, low carb. Low quality, low carb. Does that make sense? Smoothie, literally just a scoop of protein. I do a nice heaping scoop of peanut butter and unsweetened almond milk. I mean, every one of those foods, it's not organic, it's full of chemicals, unfavorable fatty acid ratios, especially the peanut butter, very high omega-6, full of toxins, agrochemicals, just very poor food choices. But Ooh, hey, it's low carb. I almost forgot. Cinnamon. And, and to be fair, that's a reasonable strategy for losing weight, right? Destroying your liver. I guess if your body can't process the food, you can't gain weight, huh? And this is it. Sometimes, again, if I want it more like a frappuccino, I add the ice inside. If not, then I just mix it and add the ice into my mason. Okie dokie. There we are. Yeah. Mm. So good full of nutrients, full of protein. It's gonna hold me off for a few hours. So I'm gonna get some work done and then I'll see you back for lunch. So from a nutrient perspective, the main things people are missing are B vitamins and usually heavily imbalanced mineral ratios in the body. So when people think they're having whey protein or whatever and animal nutrition and, and these really not necessarily doing them any favors, especially if they've been doing it for long periods of time, then you're definitely sufficient in whatever nutrients you think you're getting because you've been following the same diet for how many years all right so Take for lunch i'm gonna I do a break. little ramen I w i've been craving ramen and i wanted to go to a ramen spot about 20 minutes from here and i'm like no 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 we are just going to make it at home but we're gonna make it low carb 
I'm gonna boil the noodles. This ramen is from Emmy. This is a low carb ramen, absolutely love it. It's also vegan friendly. This one here is the pork. Honestly, I love all of them. The chicken, the beef, they all taste pork really good. Pork doesn't sound They too remind vegan me of friendly. Top Ramen. I don't know if you had Top Ramen growing up. I sure did. So I do the noodles first. And then oops, once they're um, pretty soft, about five minutes, I add in the little package. Yeah, the problem with a lot of this macronutrient stuff when you're focusing on just low carb is you, you ignore the food quality and, and you don't end up being healthy. And then I love adding in a little egg and some sriracha. Sometimes I add extra, like extra things to my ramen, but today I'm just keeping it pretty simple. These have 21 grams of protein and six net carbs. I'll leave them linked in the description below. You get 15% off using low carb love at checkout. But if you miss having ramen, if or you love ramen. These people don't understand that the cells in their body, the molecules are physically made up of what they're eating. So if you're eating low quality stuff, high omega say your cells are going to be made of that. Your body's just going to be heavily, heavily inflamed. So when people are skinny fat or they lose weight on the scale, but their body composition still looks terrible, it's because of the low food quality in the diet. Ramen and you want like a lower carb version, this one here is delicious. The texture's so on point, the flavor's on point. Yeah, everything about it, I absolutely love. This one is the pork. I usually go for my chicken, but this time I ordered all three flavors because sometimes I, you know, I just need variety in my life. Okay, so my noodles are soft at this point. So I let my noodles boil for about five minutes and now I'm just adding in the, the flavor. I'm gonna add in my little egg. Ooh. I think we did a healthy udon noodle recipe. And I mean, I have udon noodles every uh, night for dinner with the special wheat ones that we sell on Frankie's Shoe Range Foods. So whatever food this girl makes, like there is a high quality and acceptable version. Like you could find a, a just plain grass-fed whey protein powder for breakfast and have that with high quality raw milk or whatever. This ramen meal, you can swap out all organic ingredients and be mindful of the seasonings and spices and additives. There's a lot of stuff that can be fixed to make this healthy, but that requires, you know, pretty in-depth explanation and a reasonable amount of food knowledge. This is exactly what I was craving from earlier this morning. <laughs> and you know I'm about that spicy life. Sriracha. I mean, if you're craving noodles, but you eat low carb noodles, I'm assuming the craving doesn't go away. The texture of these noodles are the best low carb noodle I have ever tried. It's almost as bad as the vegans, dude. Like these low carb people eating pasta is just as bad as the vegans eating fake meat. It's like, it doesn't make sense. If you're logical, and you're in with the natural stuff and what we're supposed to do to be healthy. It just doesn't make any sense. Perfect bite, perfect texture, the flavor. If you miss like top ramen or ramen and you're just staying low carb or just, you know, on a weight loss journey, these are delicious. Bro, I'm looking at myself. I, I look kind of evil now. I used to look cute. Now I look kind of evil. And you imagine if I shaved the curly hair, dude, I'd probably look like a criminal. I got to be careful with my haircuts now. Yes. I'm going to go enjoy this, get a little bit more work done, and then I will see you for dinner. <laughs> okay, so I've already started prepping for dinner. So I'm going to try to make everything like, you know, pretty quick and at the same time. So I thought about making like this casserole that I really like, but then I'm like, wait, I've been craving Chipotle. So let's make a Chipotle bowl. I'm making mine low carb. I live a low carb lifestyle, so I always- her, um, her gut bacteria is crying for a giant roll of rice and beans. Um, go for some poly rice. So I'm gonna make a quick fluffy rice. I'm gonna make my meat at the same time so that we can have- <laughs> Like you were craving noodles for lunch. You had low carb noodles you're, and you're still craving carbs for dinner. So you're making mock chipotle with low carb replacements. It's it's just dinner within like 15 minutes, okay? So the one thing about kali rice, which if you watch a lot of my videos, you already know, you have to drain the water because cauliflower just contains a lot of moisture. So you want to drain this out or else you're going to end up with very mushy rice. We don't want that. We want it nice and fluffy. 
right? There's just a lot of water in there. So we wanna get all that out. So we're gonna do a little bit of avocado oil. We're gonna keep this very plain Jane. If I really wanted to be on Chipotle vibes, I should add a little bit of lime juice and a little bit of cilantro to do a little cilantro, cilantro lime. Ooh, the Tommy vibes rice. with the accent. I might do it. So, a little salt and pepper. Now, you guys know why most guys like Asian girls is because, and not, I mean, I don't know if this sounds weird, but they look, they look cartoonish, you know? It, it takes away, like, the human aspect and, and the, the mean and nasty things that, you know, some people do. So, when you look at an Asian girl, like, you know, I should just stop myself here, but, like, you feel like even if they do something bad, they're like so cute and and kind of like they almost don't look real, you know? All right, maybe I should shouldn't have said that. Whatever. Usually, I do chicken, maybe there's a shrimp, word for that. or steak. I'm sure That's the usually Japanese what have I a word for that. When I'm thinking Chipotle, but since I was planning Any on making weebs something want to else me? today, I have ground beef. Still gonna taste delicious, so do not judge me on my ground beef Chipotle bowl. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add in our meat. Yo, statistically speaking, what type of haircut do these tall, ugly white dudes uh, that are all over the Asian baby girls, what type of haircut do they usually have? Probably some like uh, budget budget Wall Street shit, right? So with the ground beef, because it does have back hair. fat, I don't add extra oil. This will actually release some oil and I sometimes drain it so that you know, just so I don't have, I don't eat. Look, while I was out in California, I admit, I, I bought the good old grain-fed grade A Angus prom beef because, dude, whatever they feed the grass-fed cows out there in California, I wasn't having it. I took one bite out of those grass-fed California steaks, and I was like, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever had in my life. So I went right back to the supermarket, and I bought that fatty, sick cow pink juicy grain fed whereby it was it was I, it was a it was a treat compared to it was a treat compared to uh compared to that gnarly grass fed stuff but no the stuff we have on frankie's range meat is is good that's okay but um you know if you're having a grain fed ribeye steak once in a while it's it's not the end of the world eating that meat all day every day though is a different story and the ground beef is ground beef's a little fishy ground beef's a little fishy just thought i'd uh throw that out there so much oil so anyway, I'm just gonna make this really quickly and then I'm gonna show you how I assemble it. A little cilantro in there. And a little tiny bit of lime. And we'll set that aside. Okay, so I took out most of the oil and there's still a little bit here, so I'm just gonna saute my onion and peppers. This is kind of like the, the little fajitas at Chipotle. We're gonna do cumin. I mean, we haven't spoken about the grain-fed corn stuffed Angus prawn bite in a while, right? We haven't. Look, it's just all that crap and chemicals and jabs and stuff they give to the cows. That ends up in the meat, so. You don't really want to eat it. You're, it makes you estrogenic. You gain weight. Well, I mean, you go to Peter Luger, have a steak once in a while, not the end of the world. Let's do garlic powder. Onion powder. I mean, the spice, the dry spices and seasonings, high in histamine, can salt. be inflammatory. I'm not, I'm really not a fan of them. Okay, so our rice and meat is done. Now it is time to assemble our chipotle bowl. <laughs> okay, so I already have all my toppings prepped. And this is actually like really, really easy if you wanna do like family chipotle night. So we're gonna start off with our rice. So far, the cauliflower with that ground beef and onions as a side dish is, I mean, especially if it was an organic version of that, I would 100% eat a very healthy meal. So I guess we'll see if she makes it bad in any way. Okay. And now I'm adding my beef with my peppers. So like 
The peppers are like the fajitas. I mean, you need a starch, and more carb source, top it but with some lettuce. at least it's not super inflammatory. A little bit of cheese. Unless you add a ton of commercial dairy to it. Okay. So Never I mind. tried to place my avocado nice and aesthetic, but then I'm just going to top it off with my salsa. You can add in some sour cream. I'm personally, I'm not a big sour cream fan. I like actually extra avocado if I'm gonna, like if I want that creaminess. But this right here is my little chipotle bowl. I swear to you, I've been craving chipotle and this is going to hit the spot. I'm so excited. Yeah, I mean, just regular chipotle is healthier. You know, beef, rice and beans is, is healthier than this. You know, you, you need the carbs, you need the starch to feed your gut bacteria. And adding spices and seasonings and flavorings that, that might inhibit your liver function to, to make up for your cravings is not going to help. Okay, let's do a little taste. Just as good, if not better. So, here you have my homemade chipotle bowl. This is so much less expensive. I don't know, it's just, it's very budget friendly in comparison to going to Chipotle. Especially when feeding a lot of Bro, people. anything, if not, you can't eat out anymore, dude. I, I was thinking of opening a burger uh, burger stand or some type of fast food restaurant in my grocery store because McDonald's is like 15 bucks now just to eat by yourself. It's insane. It's insane. I mean, I'm saying that, but then I'd probably go to these big food distributors and I realize why they're charging $15 for a meal now. But you, you can't, you can't eat out anymore, dude. You can't. It's gotten to the point where I'm... I think there's going to be a second wave of like restaurant closures and issues because it's, it's it's getting bad. It's getting worse now. It's getting worse. The prices don't stop rising. Also make it and meal prep it. Um, I meal prep these a lot because the rice and the meat obviously stays good and then just do the topping separately. But overall, this is one of my favorite things to eat, whether it's for lunch or for dinner. It always hits the spot every single, single time. <laughs> All right, so Chipotle bowl on point if you have not tried making chipotle at home you mm. definitely have to my ramen was good my smoothie today has just been like my day my food has slayed today and then to finish off with a little chocolate i'm just gonna have a little maybe two you know depending on my mood a little coffee to end my day but mm. <laughs> i wonder how she sleeps <laughs> so good sometimes i feel like with dessert People think like they have to overcomplicate it and make like a whole huge mm -mm. I feel like if you're eating coffee and chocolate for dessert that you take sleeping meds, but okay. Sometimes just like a little chocolate, a strawberry, a few little berries with some whipped cream or something. Call it a day. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to hit the little- Uh, I don't know if I was a little mean today. Uh, I'm just trying to help people out, give them an idea of what they should be doing. Uh, but, but to be more constructive, uh, what you need to do to go from a low carb diet like this to, to back to eating carbs again and actually being healthy. I mean, obviously I could just say, Oh, uh, watch my YouTube videos, watch my food pyramid videos, check out all that stuff. Uh, number one is you want Wi-Fi EMF protective clothing to make sure your digestive organs are not being inhibited and that you can lose weight and process food properly. And then number two is just go organic, go high quality with everything, eat whatever you want meat, bread, fruits, veggies, eat whatever you want. As long as it's organic and high quality, wear the Wi-Fi shielding, protective clothing, and then take it from there. Then you, if you do have health issues, if there's things you need to fix, that that's a very good starting point instead of falling into some trap like this, uh, thinking it's, it's the end all be all solution. But I don't, I don't think that a low carb diet should be followed under any circumstance. There, there's no scenario where it's ever the healthiest option. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for joining. Uh, if you do want to support me, you can check out frank for all of my interesting businesses. You can, you know, we have so many YouTube videos you guys can watch and learn more. Just type Frank Defano Keto, Frank Defano Low Carb. You can see kind of all my recent uh, opinions and ex uh, in-depth explanations behind that stuff. But um, I'm tired, guys. It's like 3 a.m. Uh, working all day. So uh, we're going to wrap things up. But as usual, guys, drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Stop calling me bogged.
Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon.